open eye Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Can't make calls collide Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight Dripping lights Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. So for today's video, the first thing I'm going to be taking is my Hourglass Concealer and I am using the shade Cotton. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is carving out my brows. And then I'm also going to be using this concealer to prep our lids as well. And I have become really obsessed with this concealer lately. It's just so thick and creamy and a full coverage and it just blends out so well. I'm absolutely obsessed. Moving on, I'm going to be taking my Lorac Pro The Artistry Book palette and I just love this palette so much. It's so big and so beautiful and so colorful. And the first shade I'm dipping into is Psycho, which is this beautiful red color. And taking my Morphe M506, I'm just going to be packing that into my crease and a little bit above my crease and blending it upwards. And also, as you can see, I did go ahead and flick out the outer corner just because we are going to be doing a cut crease today. So I just did go ahead and flick out the outer corner. And then for the next shade, I'm going to be taking Holiday, which is this bright red color. As you can see, it is like a lot more brighter and more vibrant than the other red we went in with. And then taking my Morphe M562, I'm just going to be using that to blend out Psycho. And then here, just taking any pencil brush, I'm just going in and packing on a little bit more of Holiday. And of course, with every look, we're going to go ahead and blend, blend, blend. Moving on to cut the crease, I'm taking my ColourPop concealer in the shade 01, which is this white concealer. And the reason why I'm taking this white concealer was because I had a look in mind that I wanted to do, but I ended up not going that route. But yeah, I just ended up using this concealer anyway because I changed my mind afterwards. And then dipping back into my palette, I'm just going to go ahead and set that concealer with the shade Ghost, which is this white icy shade. For my mascara, I actually forgot to show what mascara I'm using, but I'm using Maybelline's Snapscara Mascara, and I'm just going to be applying one coat of that, and then I'm going to go ahead and apply false lashes later on, and I actually think I need a new bottle of this mascara because mine was a little dry, so I need to snatch up another one. Moving on to eyeliner, I'm going to be taking my NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner and we're just going to be drawing a cute little wing.
so for my lashes i'm going to be taking these right here i'm actually not sure how to pronounce the brand name jameer jameer i have no idea but i ordered these from amazon and the five pack was not that expensive i don't remember how much they were but i know they were like these cheapy lashes but they actually look like foam ink lashes like they look really nice if i find the seller i'll list it down below but yeah i'm like loving those and then for my bronzer, I'm going to be taking my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. So I have been recently re-obsessed with my NARS Eda brush, and I don't even know why I ever stopped using it. It just makes powder contouring like so much more faster and easier and so much more snatched. Like, again, I don't know why I ever stopped using it. I'm absolutely obsessed with it, and I'm like thinking about buying another one because... I'm literally one of those people that I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this. I need seven. Tipping back into our Lorac Pro palette, I'm going to be taking the shade Potion and my Makeup Shack T60 brush and I'm just going to be buffing that green on our lower lash line for the ultimate Christmassy look. Next, I'm taking my Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel and I'm just going to be, <laughs> of course, applying it to my brows. And I like to do this as one of my last steps just because I feel like powder gets into my brows and this kind of like brushes it out. And then for my lower lash line, I'm taking my MAC Giga Black Lash Mascara. And I swear, you guys, this mascara for your lower lashes is like a game changer. Once you start using this, you can't go back to using just any mascara for your lower lashes. Once I started using this mascara, like, I seriously, like, there's no going back. And then for my highlighter, I'm going to be taking Gold Digger by Artist Couture. And I'm just using a fluffy eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to be applying that right over my bronzer. And I just skip out on blush today just because... I don't know, we had like red and green going on and then, I don't know, I just didn't want to add more color on my face with the blush. And last but not least, of course, my favorite part, I'm going to be taking my Milani Matte Satin Liquid Lipstick in the shade number 10 Satin. And this is like the perfect candy apple red. It just like screams like Christmas holiday vibes to me. I just love it so much. And you guys already know how I feel about these Milani liquid lipsticks. I rave about these all the time. They smell good. They're super pigmented. They last all day. They're a super comfortable matte. They don't dry out your lips. And I can just go on forever. But yeah, you guys, that completes today's video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.